That's right, after two whole years of absence, I'm finally back and here to stay. If I can actually keep my word this time. How do you guys like the new look? I figured it'd be appropriate given not only my grand return, but a new era for Victrola TV. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with me, I already mentioned this on Twitter before, but I'll give you the rundown again. Basically, I've been hit with some depressing news one after another at the start of 2022. And as you can tell, I wasn't motivated at all to make new videos since then. I won't go over what happened, but I will say that everything is okay now, I'm okay now, and I hope every one of you are okay too. This goes without saying, but mental health is not to be taken lightly. It is important to seek out professional help if you or a loved one are going through something like this. We're all in this together, so please look after each other. Okay, with that PSA out of the way, let's talk about the channel and where it's going from here. During my hiatus, I started thinking about how I can improve in terms of quality, efficiency, and productivity. I also thought about some new ideas I want to do for the channel. However, I discovered that my PC wasn't powerful enough to make more videos, especially in standard HD or even 4K. But now that my PC is upgraded, and after many months of testing and procrastinating, it's finally time to share my plans for the channel. So let's get started. Let's begin with the one I'm sure a lot of you are wanting to hear about. It's actually a good thing that I'm starting with this, because I have a lot to say about this one. So. Bear with me on this. Okay, here it goes. I'm discontinuing hit or miss. Hey, no, 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 no. You'll get this back when you're done with the video. Now let me explain. There's a variety of reasons why I'm doing this, but the biggest one I'll start with is this. When I first decided to become a YouTuber back in 2011, I wanted to find a topic that I thought I would love doing. But what I didn't realize until recently is that I was chasing trends just to be popular. Doing something I thought I would enjoy at first, but eventually get burned out from doing. It's the real reason why I stopped doing Triple S and now hit or miss. Because a spreader and a reviewer is just not who I am. I want to do something that I know that I will love doing. But that's just part one of my reasoning. Usually when I make any video, not just hit or miss, I always mentally set myself a release date and try to get the video done before then. Even though I say I don't want to limit myself to that, I do it anyway to avoid people saying where's the next video. And I know that's not the case with you guys. You're the most loyal and patient audience I've ever had, and I really mean it. But I always forget that I'm only sending at a 3 digit subscriber count, which isn't a lot to be honest, and I do want to reach a bigger number than that. But I think one of the reasons I can't is because of how I do it. When I rush out a video, the quality does suffer, but only a little bit, not by a lot. Either way, it doesn't make it fun to do if I rush out a video, and I really need to let go of that mentality for my own sake. The lack of polish is also why I haven't been motivated to make more videos. My goal with the channel has always been to make content not just for you guys to enjoy watching, but also that I enjoy making, and I've almost ruined that goal with my rushing mentality. If I have to rush something out for the sake of it, it's not going to be fun for me to make, and therefore it's not going to be fun for you guys to watch. I also don't like how the reviews are structured. I often leave out some important parts of the subject in mind, like how the controls, level design, or story works or doesn't. Which might be the result of my rushing of production, so I think I've been doing this all wrong. Also, the lack of advertisement might play a factor into that, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Overall, Hit or Miss will no longer be the main course of my channel, because it's not who I am. I might bring it back on occasion as a mini-series in case I have something to say about a certain topic, but I can't make any promises so don't hold me to that. But for anyone wondering what the next episode was going to be on, it was going to cover the first Transformers movie directed by Michael Bay, which would have been perfect timing with Rise of the Beasts actually. Ah well, do it now. I guess that's all I have to say about Hit or Miss. Sorry this isn't what you wanted to hear, but I needed to be honest with you and myself. Hopefully I can take my time making videos from now on and meaning it this time. So if I'm not working on hit or miss anymore, what am I going to be doing for my return? Well, this is where the next section of news comes in. In early 2020, I teased a different kind of video in the works, but I kept putting it off because I wasn't ready to release it yet. But, now that I have less work to do, I think now's the perfect time to bring it back. Introducing The Writer's Room. 
This is a new series where I rewrite movies or come up with concepts for new ones. If you've seen Channel Awesome's Fanscription series, it's basically the same premise. But they're not the only ones. I've seen plenty of people online pitching ideas for how to improve movies, or even writing their own movies. The one thing I'm passionate about regarding entertainment is good and smart storytelling. And it feels great seeing other people getting in on that. I guess I owe my old English teachers from high school an apology. And with so many ideas for movies in my head, that's exactly what I want to do for the channel. And hopefully, I can enjoy doing it too. Now the first episode I'll be doing is a rewrite of the Sonic movie from 2020. Is it because I hate the movie? No, it's actually one of my favorites of 2020. That's not really saying much considering what happened that year. But I do acknowledge that there are people who would prefer something much more akin to the games. And I have to agree. So why wait until now to do it? Well, that's a funny story. I did plan on coming back last year with that exact video, and I was supposed to get it done and out before the second movie released. I even had a full script in the narration part recorded. Sadly, the script got corrupted and deleted the whole file. And that sucks, because I was so proud of that script. I tried everything to get it back like drive recovery, but it's gone for good. Lost to the sands of time. So I gave up on it until now. Luckily, I still have the narration I recorded, so I can just work from that. I mean, I've worked with less before. Anyway, no release date has been set, because again, I want to take my time making videos. But I hope you all are excited for what's to come with the writer's room. But writing movies isn't the only creative thing on my mind. During my hiatus, I've been watching a YouTuber by the username of Thorgy's Arcade, and one of the shows he has on his channel is Build the Roster where on each episode he takes a hypothetical fighting game and builds his dream roster around it. By the way, if you haven't already, go check him out and subscribe to him if you like what you see. Sorry, I'm getting carried away. Anyway, watching his channel and others helped me grow a somewhat better understanding of game design, and it made me think about what video games I would like to see happen. Enter Dot Matrix. It was the best name I could come up with, okay? Leave me alone. Dot Matrix pretty much has the same premise as the writer's room, only with video games instead, so no need to repeat myself. I already have some ideas in mind, and the one I'll be starting off with is also Sonic related. No matter what I do, I'll never escape the blue blur. I won't give too much away, but I will say that it is a platform fighting game in the same vein as Smash Brothers or Rivals of Ether, but with a twist reminiscent of the King of Fighters and Marvel vs. Capcom. But you'll have to wait till the full video to find out what I mean by all that. Now, I do have another idea that I wanted to start this series with. However, it does involve a... somewhat controversial topic, and I realize that I can't risk the show dying on arrival if I begin with that topic. So until the dust eventually settles, or unless you guys really want to see it, that idea will be on hold until further notice. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Dot Matrix. Again, there's no set release date, but I hope you're all looking forward to it. Remember earlier when I said that the lack of advertisement might be a problem for my channel? Well, as I mentioned before, I have been thinking about ways to reach out to more people and grow as a content creator. Of course, two of the most popular ways to do that is through Patreon and Discord. But don't get too excited, I don't have either of those. Yet. To be honest, I found myself considering a Patreon page numerous times, and I do see the benefits of it. The more money I have, the better content I can put out for you guys. It's a win-win situation for both of us, especially since I choose not to get paid by YouTube. However, there is one thing keeping me from taking the plunge. You see, whenever a patron pays a content creator a certain amount of money, they usually get a reward in return. And there's my problem. I don't know what I could offer as a reward. Also, I kind of don't feel comfortable asking strangers for money, even if it is optional. I suppose I could use it as more or less a tip jar to start off with, and then come up with a reward system once I'm ready to upgrade. But for the time being, it's something I'm still considering. As far as a Discord server goes, the benefits aren't lost on me either. I can communicate with more people online, and they can reach out to their friends to recommend my channel. Unlike Patreon, however, my hangups with Discord are... different. We've all seen firsthand how chaotic a message board can get, and that's what I'm afraid will happen if I do get a server. At least, without an administrator. 
but who exactly could I trust to manage my own Discord server? By the way, this is very important. Do not take any of this as an invitation to offer your services to... to <laughs> breathe! Breathe in the air! <sighs> Don't be afraid to care. By the way, this is very important. Do not take any of this as an invitation to offer your services to me. I'm not looking for an admin right now. Yeah, this is a lot for me to think about. I've never used either of these before, and I'll have to do some research on both if I decide to go for them. But that won't be for a while. And if I do decide to get a Patreon page and a Discord server, I'll let you guys know through YouTube and on my Twitter page. That's all I will say on the matter. For now, anyway. But speaking of Twitter... <sighs> what am I getting myself into with this topic? Okay, so normally I don't like to talk about controversial news because I want my channel to be mostly a place of positivity, a means of escape from harsh reality. I would be remiss, however, if I didn't address the electric car in the garage. I don't know when I'm going to talk about this again, if ever, but I thought here would be as acceptable of time as any. If you're not caught up with the news, you should know that Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla Incorporated, has purchased the rights to Twitter, and I don't believe people are happy about it. Not even me. So far, the experience has been miserable for everyone. Not just for users, but for employees as well. Users have been switching social media platforms, half the staff left the company because of Musk's leadership, and worst of all, he shot down the bird and replaced it with a generic looking X. If I had any respect for Elon Musk, not saying I ever have, but if I did, it's gone immediately. I know people are going to suggest that I switch to Facebook or Instagram, or Twitter clones like Hive or Threads, because suddenly everything will be better if I do that. Except it won't be, because first of all, I already was on Facebook a long time ago, but I left because I didn't like it, and I don't intend on going back anytime soon. Also, Mark Zuckerberg is a douche. Second of all, the only way to use Threads is if you have an Instagram account. And do you know which company owns the rights to Instagram? Meta. And do you know who's in charge of Meta? <laughs> it all comes full circle. Basically, if his name is attached, I'm not signing up. And thirdly, I don't believe those Twitter clones are going to be as big as Twitter itself. It's a social media giant that can never truly be killed. Dear God, the bastard thought of everything. So, if I'm not doing any of that, What's my solution to this problem? The honest but annoying answer is... I don't know. And I'm not saying this just so I don't have to pick a side. I'm saying I don't know because I really don't know what to do about this. But that's just reality for you. Sometimes you know what to do and sometimes you don't. And until I can figure out what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep using Twitter. Trust me, this is not because I support the changes that went down because I already established that I don't. I just have no idea what to do right now. Is what I would say if I never heard about Blue Sky. If you're unfamiliar, Blue Sky is a new social media platform made by the original creators of Twitter, and from what I was able to research, it does look promising. Not without concerns, though. But that whole spiel about Twitter clones not being as big as Twitter itself applies here, too. So, I'm going to take a wait-and-see approach on this. And if it does take off, then I might switch over. Only time will tell. But, there we have it. That's everything I wanted to share with you guys. The future of Victrola TV is looking bright, and I hope you guys can join me for the ride. If you're looking forward to what's in store, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified when I upload. But if you don't want to do any of that, no hard feelings here. Because remember, subscribing is an option, not a demand. Until next time, hasta luego. By the way, I'm not doing reaction videos anymore. Bye!